Okay, so, um, giving it some thought, I did some vent exploration. Oh, it didn't show up, okay. Um, actually, I think, yeah, it's, they're definitely home. Both of them are definitely home. Um, they're very active at the moment, so, um, we might be better off, uh, waiting a little bit there and breaking into Wheaton. And, uh, searching there. That's Sephiro. We need to go one more down for Wheaton. Yeah. Oh, no, sorry, Fort and Sons. Wait. Hang on. Wheaton is several down. Okay, so yeah, it's Fort and Sons that's there. Then we gotta go down forever for Wheaton. Alright. Losing my marbles here. Um. So, yeah, we're gonna do the break in, uh, first. Uh, do I have it completely wrong here, or am I just... Yeah, that's Wheaton, okay. Yeah, so, I know we can get into Wheaton. Um, I don't know if anyone's still in the office there. I think everyone's gone home. And I know we can gain access through that vent there. We can also do it from the vent in here, which is a little bit more private. Um... We'll do this. Um, oh boy, it has been a while since I've navigated these ones. Um, it takes a while to get over there, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe it's not accessible from this side. I thought it was. I thought I had to... Actually, I think it's I have to go all the way over. Again, we're looking for an envelope here. And then hopefully we'll be able to arrest a murderer. Hopefully. Kind of just, you know, hope, doing a lot of hoping here, if I'm being honest. Because I was certain we were going to find the envelope in the apartment. And I might have to reread something there, because I might have missed something important. Okay. First, I was wondering where is this person coming from? Where are they going? Who's Cotton Eye Joe? What do they have to do with this? Um. Ah, uh, yes. I forgot about this teensy bitty issue here. Um, it's not a big issue, really. It's just that, well, we have to shut down the security on in here before we can go there. Again, not the end of the world. Uh, just, you know, go into security and... Turn off the cameras. Fortunately, that's... Do I still have the... Alright, I don't have the code here. 4060. You know, just in case. The envelope might have been stashed there. Oh, here we are. Key. Oh. Well, that's a secret envelope, but it's not necessarily the one we're looking for, is it? Four zero six zero. I need. I really should be paying. Hang on. I need to pay very close attention because it. Yeah, they have a. They have a laser. That that that's gonna be a problem. said it, it's strange because usually it's in their home or in their office like that okay once it hits that point on the return path we're golden clear security system is down all right um Hmm, which one's their locker? Oh, what's their code again? <laughs> Alright, we're working theft case here. 
their code. Ooh, please tell me we still have it. Um. Was it their date of birth? It was their date of birth. I mean, I probably went past the code several times here looking for their profile because we have 100% of it. It's just that for some reason I'm not seeing it in my, you know. Oh, there it is. Passcode. I was looking for code, not passcode. Okay. 6788. Well. See, the problem is, now we've got to worry. I mean, let's just double check that they don't have another desk. I mean, they shouldn't. I'm just going to quickly... All right, let's go over what we have here. For discrete individual business-related concerns, require an investigator, significant fee available for right uh, as person, financial compensation, a rare sync disk interceptor, and 3,550 credits. Details. I need you to steal an important document. It will be in a sealed red and brown envelope. There is a briefcase here nearby with job information on the mark. And so we were given this. This is our mark, and for some reason, it hasn't really up... See, this... This confirms that, yes, we do indeed have the right person. Um, we have everything we know about them. Uh, female, average build, yada, yada, yada. They work at Wheaton Networks. We're in Wheaton Networks. Their job is a receptionist. We check the receptionist desk. We check their safe at their house, which is located at 204 Novak. Um, we checked their locker here, which, as you can see... No envelope. I'm wondering if I missed it in their house or something. Or if it didn't spawn it correctly, which the last time I did one of these jobs, it went swimmingly. I, mean, I thought I looked at this when I was here earlier. So, I mean, it's not here. And if it's not here, then where is it? I mean, there's a there's an envelope here. The problem is, is it the secret envelope we're looking for? I don't know. It, it seems very unlikely that it would be. If it is, uh, this wasn't really our mark. The real mark is... Um, where is it? The real mark would be them. And it would be Vega who is the mark, because it's in Vega's office. So, maybe it's on them. Maybe we're just not... Oh, I don't want to... Oh, why not? We might be coming back here. Let's just do that. Ah, man. Seven o'clock, basically. Really not sure what the best course of action is here. I mean, we could just take that envelope and say, is this your envelope? But we would never know because, well, that's not quite, you know. Um, in which case, we'd probably fail the job. Um, their residence is in Novak building. They're probably home. You could always knock them out, search them. Search the apartment again. It's 204. Got two handcuffs. Truncheon incapacitated grenade. I mean, we can... Our target? 
Is this it could be them but i thought they let's just take a look here and yeah, they have long brown hair this doesn't look like long brown hair so this isn't our target i mean did i just fail in the search of this place originally Seems unlikely. This place is a pigsty. There could be an envelope hidden under the couch and I wouldn't miss it. And could it be up on top of the bookcases so this game's gotten a lot more sophisticated than I thought. That's the kind of thing I, I would think would be done, but... Yeah, I, I really don't know where the envelope is. Um, th this was not as straightforward of a case as I expected it would be because of this weird envelope nonsense. Oh, Alright, first I thought that was, you know, our, uh, you know, the mark. Seriously, you're always around. All I wanted was to get my cheeseburger. Okay, so we're just gonna assume that this is the secret envelope. We're just gonna assume for a moment now. This is our mark. This is not our Mark's office. This is where our Mark works, but it's not their office. It's their bosses. So the Mark should have been... I had that off. This is our Mark. Vega is our Mark, not her. So I feel like this was a bit of a um, wild goose chase in that regard. Wow, this is just a creepy scene. Looks like there should be a prisoner there. Anyways, we need to turn that camera off there. Because, uh, we're leaving and we're going through the front door, not the vents. Alright, so specifically, um, we now are told to destroy the item by throwing it into the sea. I can do that. Oh, yeah, let's, let's have our document ready. But yeah, I, I just feel like they gave us the wrong mark here for the uh, job. We shouldn't have been going after the secretary, we should have been going after the boss, because it wasn't in the secretary's, you know... It wasn't in their office space, it wasn't in their desk, it wasn't in their home. Whoa! There we go! I was going to try and get a jump on it there, but... Okay, um, locate and steal item from Mark document, yep, destroy the item, now we go to Handin. 902 Novak House is where we're supposed to deliver the findings. Now, I'm kind of curious, who, who lives at 902 Novak, you know? Wait, was that? Oh, no, never mind. I thought that was, uh... It'll make more sense here, because as I said, I'm running two cases here simultaneously and know a little bit about one of them. And I just now realized I said 902 Novak, which means I should have taken the elevator. Oh, boy. Seven. Eight. Nine. O2 Novak. And in case... Please wait for processing.
All right, case solved. We've definitely earned our cheeseburgers. Now, but unfortunately, we still have a murder to uh, solve. Or, well, rather to arrest. Oh, we gotta pick up our reward from the mailbox. All right, that's a nice twist. Okay, so, mailbox for 902 Novak. Get our sync disc. Oh, actually, um, well, now let's just go straight to the clinic, which is over here. Get in bed. Install. All right, so, safe cracker gain 25 for gathering citizen passcodes, or mailing list gain 10 for trying address inform tying address information to citizen names. Both of these are pretty good. I mean, we pretty much do both. But, there's, here's my thought process. Um, there is twice as many, in theory, it's actually less. Um, there's about twice as many citizens as there is safes. There's one safe in each apartment. But then there's also some safes in the offices. Um, so, I don't know, hmm, it's kind of hard to figure out which one would make us more money. Um, both of which are kind of just passives for us, but I think we're going to go with this one. Um, too bad we can't upgrade. Um, uh, the safe cracker though, I mean that, you know, that's certainly not a bad one. I mean, but we're, we're definitely going to, what if the person doesn't even have a safe at all? So I, I feel like the sa uh, the mailing list is probably the better one. Um, all right, let's get our cheeseburger here. You know, this playthrough, um, interestingly enough, I haven't seen a certain employee who's usually here. Normally, uh, yeah, normally, uh, Raquel, you know, the first time I played the game and the second time, Raquel is always here. I haven't seen Raquel. It's kind of odd. All right, we're going to eat. We're gonna get some water, and hopefully it will be time to arrest someone. Alright. So, we need to go back to the 13th floor. I'm gonna be honest, I'm, I'm just gonna, um... Go up two floors, I think it is, to where the nearest water is, yep. Actually, let's, uh, do a smart. All right, now we've got hydrated. Just wait for the elevator. All right, there it is. Not at all dangerous there. 13th floor, please. But yeah, we might be, you know, at this point, I just want to arrest them. So uh, if we have to knock two people out, cuffing them, at this point, yeah, it, it's the gloves are coming off, the truncheon's coming out, possibly the in, incapacitator grenade is coming out as well. I was trying to think. Wait, is it incapacitator grenade? Yeah, just, um, first things first. Let's do a peek. I don't see light. Time check: eight twenty-six. They may or may not be in bed. It's hard to tell. Door is locked. We don't even know if they're in their apartment, to be fair. You know, I didn't even pay attention if there were security cameras. And that, that was my first spot when I started lockpicking, and I was like, no, this is the 13th floor. I know there's no security cameras on the 13th floor. Um, but what we can also do...
You know, I'm, I'm just, we could sabotage, but I'm just going to turn off the security systems. We're going to close that so they can't get to it. All right, the lights are currently off in there. Let's just wait a few seconds here because we've got activity. Light is on. We went into the bedroom. All right, bathroom light, uh, bathroom again. Is that our target? I don't know. Went to the other bathroom. This is this is you know really entertaining gameplay right here. I I, I hope you're as excited about this as I am. That is definitely our target right there. Ah, oh, shoot, I may have forgotten one key detail here. We still need to find the murder weapon, so, uh... What if you... Oh, I almost did. <laughs> yeah, this isn't at all creepy. All right. Two handcuffs used. Not ideal. All right. We have free reign of the place for a little while here. We are looking for a syringe. Now's a good time to... Uh, Search the suspect. Well, we got the poison. Wrong case. We got the poison. But that's not the murder weapon. Approximately 10 hours later. No syringe located thus far. Shopping list. Oh, syringe! Hopefully, that is the murder weapon, but it might not be. A little later. All right, I think we've identified the murder weapon. There's nothing else here that could be the murder weapon, so we're just gonna leave. Um, right. So, murder weapon. We're gonna say it was that syringe, because this was a poisoning. So, let's go submit the case. Okay. I always forget how short, uh, she is there. It always froze me. Alright, case processing. Come to think of it, didn't we? Yeah, we did this one as well, so we'll have to close both cases. Um, case processing. All right, check, 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 and wrong syringe, apparently. I hate poison cases. They're never straightforward. They are never straightforward. So we actually got penalized there for selecting the syringe when it wasn't, you know. I, and then I love how it lectures on, look at the target objective, you idiot. You were looking for a syringe used in a murder case. It could be any syringe. I think it's more in from I think it's more interesting if we find the poison. Yeah.